Hey, what's going on guys? This is Prodigy and today I'm making a video for you guys that I don't really want to make. Not because I don't like making videos, but because I have to talk about something that I really don't want to talk about. And before I really get into that, I'm playing some safeguard here in Black Ops 3 using the VMP. And I'm also using the, um, the SVG sniper rifle. Because I'm trying to uh, get that gold. But um, this ends up being a pretty good game. It's a relatively quick game for safeguard. It only went two rounds. But that's off topic. That's just about the gameplay. But let's get into the topic that I want to talk about right now. And that is that Treyarch has apparently reintroduced skill-based matchmaking into Black Ops 3. And this has been this is this is being kind of debated right now because Treyarch didn't officially release any announcements or anything like that so it's not exactly confirmed or verified yet but a lot of people have noticed a lot of differences since the new update that they've had myself included I've had some very very strange moments some very bad connections lobbies and if you look at the lobby leaderboards between uh, during your matches before you go and actually go into the game you'll notice that a lot of players kds are pretty close to each other so you know it, it's one thing like it could be coincidental but it's also very strange because it's not very often that an entire lobby of people have similar kill death ratios you know so that was kind of a hint as to where oh my god this guy was using tracker i hate that perk if you're using tracker please take it off that oh my god they, they should at least make hardwired counter it completely because it, it was kind of useless to just kind of limit it because it's still bad but look at me i'm just getting on topic so easy but um skill based matchmaking a lot of players like there's 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 been um articles coming out claiming that uh they have officially done it a lot of people on reddit are going crazy people on twitter are going crazy saying this ruins black ops 3 and that it, the game's unplayable now and i gotta admit i'm if this is indeed true and they purposefully did reintroduce skill-based matchmaking i will not be happy because that was one of the main reasons that i and most other people did not like advanced warfare on top of many other things obviously it's not the only thing that, that was wrong with it but i skill-based matchmaking has a variety of problems in theory you know it's it sounds good because it's like you know well you know you're a good player so you should play with other good players you know to kind of balance it out yeah, that's all well and good but you know people as much as uh people like to pay attention to the competitive call of duty scene call of duty in itself is not a competitive game it's a very casual game that people like to play to have fun so people don't want to play competitively when they're just going into a match of TDM, you know, just to waste some time while on the weekend or something. You know, they don't want to have to try very hard. You know, they don't want to have to worry about all these good players. They just want to go in there and have some fun, you know. And on top of that, the other issues that come with skill-based matchmaking is it does not give you matches based on the best possible connection you could possibly have so what you'll end up having is a look at that double kill i'm telling you guys i'm getting better with the sniper i'm telling you <laughs> it's coming i'll be quick scoping in no time <laughs> that was a joke but um as far as connections go with skill-based matchmaking it matches it doesn't match you based on the best connection possible it matches you based on your skill level your kd ratio your score per minute or whatever factors that they factored into the algorithm or whatever and so what you have a lot of times is immense and very noticeable amounts of lag in the game and you know people would literally be shooting people empty an entire clip on somebody and they wouldn't die then the person just turns around and insta melts them and it's just like that if you play call of duty that would that would drive you crazy oh watch this guys watch this <laughs> I love the purifier. Look, I got full streaks off that and safeguard. And safeguard. Okay, but that was my little moment. But um you know, lag is just not something that people enjoy in Call of Duty because it literally ruins the experience. Because it it it's it's it, it increases the randomness of the game and you really can't even do anything about it. So I mean since the since the new update I've just noticed a lot of things that have been questionable i'm not gonna say 
terrible, but they've been questionable and made me wonder, like, what is going on? I've had more lag than I've ever had in this game in the past couple of days. I'm not saying that I haven't lagged before because I, I definitely have lag. You know, it's not Call of Duty without lag. But at particularly, like, the, la the last few days, ever since that new update, I've just been seeing lag more and more. And I was like, why is this happening? It shouldn't be happening as much as it is. You know, I thought maybe, you know, my internet's acting funny. You know, maybe, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you know, I definitely noticed some things, and today especially, I was I was trying to just play a game because I needed like two kills to purifier, to um, unlock the next challenge for the hero gear, and I literally could not play a decent game. It was so frustrating. It was driving me crazy because I just I literally just wanted to get in the game, get two kills with the purifier, and then just leave so I can move on. To whatever I wanted to do next and I just couldn't do it because every single game I would get in was just lagging beyond belief and it was driving me insane I could not do anything like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show a clip on the screen for you guys to watch it I to capture a little clip of the lag I was experiencing so you guys can see I'm not I'm not making this up it was driving me crazy so look look at this right here I was in a game of um, I don't forget if this is TDM or free for all, but I was just trying to get in a, a game or something real quick, just to just to get a kill or with the or something real quick and just leave. But I it was driving me crazy. But anyways, enough of that. But this whole thing is really making a lot of people upset, especially because prior to the release of Black Ops Three, Treyarch specifically said that they would not be uh, implementing skill based matchmaking in the game. And, you know, that was a, a relief to a lot of people because after coming off of Advanced Warfare, where the game died out really fast because people just really couldn't stand it. They couldn't play it because of the things I was talking about before. The skill-based matchmaking just led to a whole another series of issues, you know, the bad connections especially. So, and, and that's really going to turn off a lot of people to bring skill-based matchmaking back in this game. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure what Treyarch was thinking there. I'm not sure if this was a mistake. I'm not sure if, if this is just them making an attempt to fix the matchmaking because I will point out a lot of people were complaining that something was wrong with the matchmaking that, you know, a lot of bad they were getting a lot of bad teammates more so than ever before. So maybe Treyarch tried to change something and this was the result. I don't I don't know. I, I really have no idea. Like I said, Treyarch hasn't commented officially on this yet, so we don't have any official word on any of this. This is all just speculation, really. Maybe seal-based matchmaking isn't even there. But there's obviously something different, and it's not good. <laughs> so I'm 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 really I'm really not sure what to make of this whole thing. If skill-based matchmaking is back, I'm not. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do because I was really enjoying Black Ops 3. Like this, uh, this was the most fun I've had playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2 came out, and I was in high school. Oh man, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, I've I've just had a lot of time, a lot of fun playing this game. I spent a lot of time playing it. And I did, I did not know the sentry gun will target the robot and safeguard. I've never gotten it before, so. I don't know. That's weird, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm I'm not sure how I would react if skill-based matchmaking is indeed back because if the if what I experienced today in the last couple of days is gonna become the norm for Call of Duty, then I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play it because it's not that I wouldn't want to play it or that the game wouldn't be fun anymore because the game would be fun even if there was skill-based matchmaking. But the problem isn't skill-based matchmaking in itself. The problem is the issue skill-based matching matchmaking brings with it. You know the bad connections and everything. And I, you could say skill-based matchmaking is an, in itself is a problem because it doesn't belong in a game like Call of Duty where people are just trying to play casually and not competitively. You know, you know, it's just like people just want to come in and have fun without having to worry about everybody being, you know, sweaty tryhards or whatever. And, you know, and that's understandable. I could understand that. So, but if if Black Ops 3 in its current state is how they intended to make it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play it because the amount of lag and bad connections I was experiencing today, 
it it just it, it's 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 unplayable <laughs> cuz i literally had to take a break load this video up record this so i can make this video and, and upload it to youtube just to express what's going on because i just could not play black ops 3 but I don't know. That's it for. That's really all I had to say for this video. I just. I really don't know what to think at this point. So, hey. But as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. I really appreciate it. And I don't know what. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys think skill-based matchmaking is back? And if it is, will you keep playing Call of Duty? So, let me know in the comments below. But that's all for me, guys. This is Prodigy. Thanks for listening.